thank you for joining me this evening. I uh, wanted to bring to light some things that uh, you know I I've been pondering and um, talk about the experiment that has been my life. Uh, by nature, I've been experimental. You know, some people experiment with drugs, and I've uh, definitely experimented with life rather than the aforementioned. I guess it comes down to my curious nature. When I was really young, I had a, a Teddy Ruxpin, and it stopped. It just stopped working one day, and I wasn't willing to accept that. Uh, no, I, I won't take this Teddy Ruxpin not working. So me being me and curious and not willing to accept the fact that the Teddy Ruxpin had died and was no longer going to tell me bedtime stories or play the tape I put into it, I tore the thing apart. I had no idea what all the different parts or wires or um, different aspects of it did or were. But that didn't keep me from pulling it apart and looking and noticing that the wires had come undone. And so I began experimenting with this, placing all the wires and different combinations until all of a sudden it started playing. And lo and behold, I had fixed my Teddy Ruxpin. And, uh, you know, that started the, the basis of, I guess, my general nature um, being curious not willing to accept things for just face value. I see a lot of people that, uh, you know, they never ask how their TV works. But me, you know, I, I had to know how the TV works. I was so curious. Uh, to some people it works and it works, that's fine. It just magically works, but I had to know. And I'm pretty much the same about uh, life. And lo and behold, we just came through 2020 and there's a saying and sayings play into this a lot um, and I'll get to that in a minute but um, you know 2020 there's hindsight in 2020 and I spent a lot of the year reflecting on all different aspects of this experiment that has been my life and really piecing together all the different uh, conclusions to the queries of what all these if-then statements were. And I've really come to uh, some really great realizations and revelations through that. And, uh, you know, I have a, a father that's an engineer and a stepfather that... Uh, is also an engineer so I had a lot of technical books when I was growing up and um, my curious nature of course led me to read these books and I had no clue what they what they were what they meant but I was willing to read them over and over again and as I grew older and more experienced and as I read more books these things began to make sense and and then as I read again more things in them made sense and I began to piece those parts of those puzzles together and apply them in my life and um, you know that that uh, uh, applies to so many different things um, and then here comes the kicker uh, a lot of my life I spent watching TV and uh, you know they call TV programming and there's there's uh, that's so poignant um, in how that manifests in so many different ways in that TV programming is programming. Um, people that are aware of, of the nature and mechanics of life are certainly aware of that. And that, um, you know, in hindsight, looking back, I can see how the different things that I watched came true in my life. Um, they, they happened in my life after I saw them and, and found um, a way whether I could at the moment or felt like it should be necessary for me to relate to them but I found myself putting myself in different characters shoes in life and uh, 
fiction, um, all sorts of different aspects. And, and they, in turn, through a, an odd turn of faith, manifested themselves in my life. And this is a brilliant key that I uncovered in how different things can become reality. And we have so many different choices. Um, a speaker that I was once listening to named Abraham Hicks touched on this in, that, uh, in this aspect. That if you don't like the radio station, turn the channel. Um, you know, if, if something coming out is not a positive message and you don't want it occurring in your life, just flip the dang channel. It sounds really simple and it came to me late in life and was really hard for me to digest. Um, but I never realized that I had the choice to do that. Um, and, and this occurs in so many different ways. Another way, other than media that we take it in, uh, people talk about dictatorship. Well, media dictates to you all the time. You have a, a news anchor that dictates from a, uh, uh, a teleprompt. You have uh, actors that dictate from a script and they're dictating to those that are willing to listen just as I'm dictating to you and you can choose to accept it or not. Uh, whatever, you, you have that choice. That is freedom. Um, another way that this occurs is the people that we bring into our lives and the attitudes we have and the attitudes that we allow other peoples to carry into our lives are, are dictated to us in that sense and will manifest in turn. Um, at least this has been my experience in hindsight. And when people share sayings like the ones that I've shared, Often people will share and they might not even realize the selfish things they share and things that are passed on to them, you know, and um, people that are abused, they, they justify abusing others because they were abused and they, they might not even be aware of how they have been abused or the level to which they have been abused and that's the beauty of hindsight. And, and that is the beauty of, of 2020 and this, this new day right here is I've been granted authorship of a new chapter of the book of Matthew, a, a new chapter of Revelation, uh, a new authorship. And, and what I choose to do with that authorship is to write a story that has never been written, not a, not a Shakespearean story of drama or tragedy or comedy, but of just pure joy and pure happiness and not a, not a basic story, but a, a simple one, how simple things can be and how happiness can be simple and joy can be simple and not overly complicated. Um, and the, the other thing that really put the last piece of this puzzle together for me was having the things that had been hidden revealed. And this is how that happened. I didn't really know all the things that my family members and the, the people that had come before me had hidden from me because of shame or, or because they didn't want to bring those into my life, but they, they manifested themselves in my life because they weren't willing to be candid about them for whatever reason. And only after learning about the past, did I realize that these things had manifested without being dictated to me first because they had not been explained. But at this point in 2020, when everything came to a head and all these things came to light, I could look back and see, wow, these things that, that these people held on to and never gave to me until this point, whether or not they were willing to be candid about them manifested in my life because they 
hadn't accepted them. They, they hadn't dealt with them on their own. And I had to pay for them in, in my own life. And that's the brilliance of this new revelation and this new authorship is I'm not going to, to continue to pay for these bad things that happen to other people. I'm not going to pass that on. I'm giving this key to other people to say, move on and move forward, move upward. We're at the bottom, but if we're at the bottom, we're at the bottom of a new level. A, a higher level than we had been at before. This is a, a new beginning. And there is a lot to be said about that. And it's all good. It uh, There's no other way to write this without bridging on, on not being original. If I were to write tragedy or drama or comedy in, it would be a copy of, of what other people have written. But this is just a brilliant resolution, revelation, and revolution, and evolution, and it's pure joy and happiness and doing something that not many or, or none that I have been aware of have done before. And the ones that I can kind of now look back and see, I hadn't seen before. These, um, this, this puzzle that has been revealed and these keys that have been given are that authorship to be that author to this new book and this this new chapter and refuse to to write anything except for happiness into this life and simplicity those are the things that we all are are empowered and uh, have the right to because the transgressions have already been paid for. We don't need to pay for them again. We can continue in this new level and it's something that I could just not hold inside. It was, it was too much to keep to myself and keep bottled inside as much of the, the negative things that I've let go and the, the luggage that I've placed on other people up to this point has helped me come to all these conclusions and put all these pieces of this puzzle together and this programming and, and seeing how all these if-then statements and uh, what the actionary um, part of of this codification is and really being able to put that into play and really being able to have an empowered choice to take hold of this authorship uh, there's there's so much more to delve into um, and, and let loose but uh, I think that covers a lot of, of the simple aspects and that might be all that uh, I need and all that you need. But I will uh, I'll continue to, to share the authorship of this story. And I'm so grateful to be at this moment and this point in life to be able to experience that and share that. And I, I hope that you can share it with other people as well. And um, move onward and upward from here.